Hi, Adam Sweet here. Recently, I did a series of four finger exercises for the mandolin and mandola. Today, I want to show you an abridged version of similar exercises for the mando cello. These can also be used for the tenor banjo and uh, a 27 inch or longer octave mandolin or Irish bazooki. So obviously you're not going to be able to reach your seventh fret on your instrument with your fourth finger if you keep your hand in the same position. So we're not going to try to reach the seventh fret today. Uh, we are, however, going to use the fourth finger. So the fourth finger exercises I'm about to show you are applicable. So what you want to do is start with your uh, lowest string, which is a C, and we're going to do uh, these exercises on each string. So start with open, then do a fourth finger on the fifth fret, then a fourth finger, on, a first finger on the second fret, fourth finger on the fifth fret again, um, then third finger on the fourth fret, then fourth finger on the fifth fret again, and then uh, first finger on the second fret, and fourth finger on the fifth fret, and open. Okay, so it sounds like this. Okay, now um, I wanted to point out one little thing, which is um, you want to try to keep your fingers down as best as you can. Uh, I've got really uh, big hands, long fingers, so it's easier for me to do that than it would be, say, for somebody with smaller hands or shorter fingers. But you want to try to keep your fingers down. If you can't keep them down, at least keep them curled over the string and don't let them fly up in the air. So let me do that exercise again for you very slowly. Okay, now let's do it on the other strings. Here it is on the G string. And the A string, I'm sorry, the D string. And now the A string. Okay, uh, it's a very simple uh, fourth finger exercise, but I hope it helps you.